one, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can configure incident reporting to use in Connect. Now the incident reporting feature for Connect is already enabled by default, and this is managed in your settings. You can click on your service menu and under configuration, click on settings and then click on connect. You will then see the enable re incident reporting. So if you did want to disable this feature, you can simply click on this setting and untick this option and click save. When the incident report feature is enabled, you've also got an additional setting, the incident report default relationship type. Now by default, we will show the enrollment holder, the pickup and legal tags. This works very similar to the confirmation requests and the communication default for the relationship types. So this means that by default, it will allow any guardian with a relationship between a child that is the enrollment holder, has a pickup option or has the legal guardian ticked to allow them to receive the message that the uh, child has an incident report to be completed. And as a guardian, they are able to sign the incident report for, for the child. To override that default, by clicking on either a child or a guardian and clicking on the children or guardian tab, either or depending on which page you're on, Clicking on that relationship link, you will see an incident report filter. And you can see by default, it will show as auto, which means it will pick up what you have selected in those settings. If you wanna override those settings, again, you can click simply yes or no. When the incident report feature is enabled, any user in your database that has access to Connect will have the ability to create and complete an incident report. For users that will require permissions to approve the incident report from those educators and users, that is a separate user role function. So you need to click on your service menu and under configuration, click on user accounts. You're then going to click to the user roles. You will notice there is a new incident report approval user role attribute. If the user role is set to no, this means that the user can only complete their own incident report and cannot approve it for a guardian to sign. If the user role attribute is selected as yes, this means that the user will receive an email uh, notifying them that they will need to approve the incident report and sign off on it before the guardian can then sign it. The user role with this access also has the ability to edit the incident report if required. By default, our system provider management and service management user roles will have this flagged as yes as a default. Uh, however, for any other user roles, you will need to uh, update this accordingly in your database. For any further information on how to set up or any configuration questions for the incident report feature, please do not hesitate to reach out to the customer success team. You may also like to look at our additional video tutorials in our YouTube channel for more tips on KidSoft. Thank you.